Okay, just got some new gauges, so I'm going to be uh, unboxing here. Take a look at what we've got. Item. Okay, here it goes. Let's open it up. Take a look. Packing slip. And these are little fire tech. Yeah. See, there we go. That should help things balance things out. This uh, S Man 3. It's got uh, pipe clamps and temperature clamps and kind of helps measure the subcool cooling and super heat. Refrigerant. So let's see what we got here. How it's packaged. It looks to be packaged pretty good. Phoned in. Got a nice carrying bag here. Pouch. Huh. Got some batteries and our probes here. Okay. Take a look here. Let's slide it out. There it is. Got a nice hook back here, swivel hook. That's always useful. Hanging it up. We got our temperature probe clamps here. High side and low side. Looks like a bubble gauge to see if we have any moisture in the system. Okay, so looking at the back, it says connect hoses to S Man for system pressure measurement. Vacuum and or charging is needed. Clamp thermocouples to suction and liquid lines for superheat and subcooling measurement. Connect a wet bulb thermocouple to T1 and dry bulb thermocouple to T2 for target superheat. Cycle through the displayed temperature by pressing the circular center button. Hold down to turn on auto cycling. Refrigerant can be changed by pressing the refrigerant button. Hold down to scroll faster. So it measures different types of refrigerant. I'm going to be using R22. Um, eventually, I want to get into R438 and M099, but for now, I'm going to be using this one for R22, pretty much exclusively. Uh, this is just a little protective screen that comes off. So, we'll pull that off. And I'll have to add some batteries. And... There we go. There's some screen cover. And it tells us that these uh, ports are factory sealed to the black aluminum box, so we don't want to try to tighten those at all. <laughs> those are what they are. Anyway, pretty nice new tool. It'd be interesting to check it out and use it here. So I'll probably get the batteries going and uh, fire it up and see what it's like. Okay, right here is our wet bulb probe and then here's our thermocouple bulb or dry bulb bulb. This is a type K connector. Both of these are type K connectors that plug right into our plugs here on the gauges. So get into this more. Wet bulb. Right here this is our dry our wet bulb. We're testing the wet bulb temperature and this is the dry bulb thermocouple thermocouple dry bulb. We're testing the dry bulb temperature. So now we added the batteries to the unit. Got to get the uh, little hook out of the way here. It's like just two screws to hold this on. Okay. Ready for a cover. 
fired. So here we go. These are on off buttons. Pull it down for a second, it turns on. Pull it down again, it turns off. So the wet bulb goes in a T1 and the dry bulb in a T2. So there's the wet bulb in T1 and dry bulb in T2. Temperatures display. And there we go. That's about right. 76.5 degrees in here, 76.6. I've got my AC going now. Seems the dry bulb is showing 72.6 in here. Right here, we can switch through different types of refrigerant. There's R410A, it was an R22, which is what I'm mostly going to be using. R125, R124, R114, R113, R434, R44A, R24A, 422A, 421. I'm curious, is there any 438. There it is. R438A. Definitely has a wide range of refrigerants it can be used with. Again, I'm just going to be using it with R22. Pretty cool. And just as just as the name suggests for the wet bulb temperature reading. We want to get the little piece of fabric wet here so we can get an accurate reading of our test. Okay, and so now our probe is plugged in and the end of it is wet. So we're getting our wet bulb temperature reading of 68.2. And this has a convenient alligator clip that we can clip on so we get a good measure of the air. 67. Cool.